I flipped over 100 houses in the Southern California area. All of them pretty much average out around the same purchase price and exit. I've done some higher, some lower, but this is what an average deal looks like. This is a real deal, real numbers that uh, we just completed about a month ago on, on a flip. Um, so the purchase price, we purchased this property for about 405,000. I'm rounding these numbers just to make it easy. Uh, the, the rehab costs were about $70,000. Uh, the holding costs and financing costs totaled to about $23,000. And the closing costs, this is what um, the agents, the, the escrow, the title um, all goes to, was almost $30,000. Uh, we ended up selling this property for $585,000. With all these totaled up, our break-even point was $527,000. Uh, that leaves us without a $58,000 property. So these are very average numbers. Most of the time, the profit is about 10% of what the sold price is of the house. Um, so across 100 deals, this is what the average deal looks like for us. Like I said, I've done a lot that are in the seven, eight hundred thousand dollar range. I've done some in the two, three hundred thousand dollar range as well. But the majority of deals look like this in my area, in the Southern California area. Obviously, the numbers are going to be different for different areas. You might have different starting points and, and uh, exit prices. Um, if you're in a high cost area, these could be a lot bigger. And of course, if you're in the Southeast, you know, Midwest areas, they're going to be a lot lower. So, but I would always, you know, use these numbers as a percentage. If you find this helpful, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.